I'm wrestling Terry Funk for the hardcore title on Starcade, which was their version of WrestleMania. It mind blown. Rewind, recap, relive for over 50 episodes. The revolutionary force in wrestling interview. And you just yeah. mentioned hardcore, uh, a hardcore run that you had, but a program you worked was with Terry Funk. And I know you looked up to him immensely, right? And, uh, and Absolutely. still do. So can you talk about your relationship with Terry Funk and how that was for you, just being involved with him in general, a legend like that? One of my favorite matches as a fan was, I, I always say this, the New York knockout, Flair versus Funk, I quit match. And that match was essentially a hardcore match before the term hardcore was coined. Uh, right. uh, and it, it was done in a fashion that I, when I was in WCW, uh, I did their version of hardcore, which sometime meant big garbage can with, baseball bats and random uh, weapons I'd put in the ring and dumped out and you guys whack each other with it. That's what I was being paid to do. So I did it. Not my, uh, not my favorite as, as a fan. What was special about the flair funk match was they used weapons, but it was naturally occurring things at ringside. Mm -hmm. Pull, pull up a mat, use a guardrail, use a chair, use the ringside table, uh, use things that happen at a ringside. Uh, so if I'm doing a hardcore match now, rails are in play. If there's mats down, I think the visual of the bad guy or the heel going and picking up the mat to slam somebody on it is a great visual. Uh, chairs naturally occur at ringside. The ring bell naturally occurs at ringside. Microphone wires. No more wires, but sometimes there's wires from the AV. Right. The speakers or something. There's something there. I'll even go as far as a garbage can. If you spill out into the crowd and you're fighting and there happens to be a trash can there, use it. You know, it <laughs> naturally occurs. Uh right. The one exception, I think that with the tables are grandfathered in. For whatever reason, <laughs> as a business, we accept that there's a stack of tables un 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 underneath the ring for whatever reason. So, right. <laughs> <laughs> we need the tables. Uh, but again, uh, and that's fine. That's just the way the business is now. But I, I, I don't like things hanging off of the ring post. I, uh, I I hate the garbage can filled with crap and when they come in the ring, dump it out mm -hmm. and use all the, all the plunder. Just not my thing. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so anyhow, uh, that match really captivated me, became a huge fan, uh, an even bigger fan of Flair and Funk. So fast forward to the time in WCW, I'm wrestling Terry Funk for the hardcore title on Starcade, which was their version of WrestleMania. It mind blown. Uh, can't be more grateful for it. Uh, incredible, incredible experience. Uh, that's one of the things I, I say. It's it's just one of the things that I never thought in a million years would happen, and it's I'm just eternally grateful for it. You know, just awesome course yeah that's so cool and i'm a huge fan of terry too and i know what you're talking about i've seen you hit that uh like use the guardrail in such a creative way with that uh, i get like a vader bomb out of the out of the corner of the rails i thought that was so innovative so unique and yeah it's like naturally occurring you don't even see what you're gonna go for so i, I love yeah. that rewind recap relive for over 50 episodes the revolutionary force in wrestling interviews